Hi everyone, this is Angela with Angela's Designs. Yes, I'm so excited showing you this tutorial. Um, this is what you call an, a loaded envelope. And the envelope is in the back, as you see there. And it's chunked full of different little things that you can use and put in there. And uh, what I want you to do is I want you to watch uh, the next few, uh, the next video here. And, uh, and let me show you how I made this. I'll see you in a few.
Okay, so now that you know how to put it together or what fun you can do with this, I'm going to explain each element um, that I put on here. Okay, first what we're going to do is we're going to take out um, this card. This is a lovely, uh, beautiful card, and the collection that I'm using uh, for this is the Bow Bunny uh, Winter Wishes Collection. It's absolutely beautiful. As you can see, the Imperium pieces are gorgeous. The, uh, as you see here and here, the papers are just beautiful. And the stickers are wonderful. And then this is some of their papers. And you can flip it open. And then this is some of their papers as well. Like you can write a little memo on there. Slip that back in there. And then put the belly band right back on there. Um, as you saw in the tutorial, this was a sticker that I got from the sticker sheet that comes with this paper collection. Um, the pink chipboard and the uh, snow chipboard you saw me use. This is by American Crafts. And the chipboard is also about by Basil. Um, and it's called Pale Pink. So that's card number one. Then you have this lovely little um, handmade... Uh, paper clip then you have another cute little tag you can use uh, to write sentiments on and yes I've got glitter everywhere honey this glitter is everywhere um, but you can write little sentiments on then I've made another tag with a using a rosette that I cut from my silhouette cameo and using more of the Imperium pieces here and a little uh, few extra little things I had to give it volume then here is, I love these, um, this is a, I'll call it a snowflake lollipop, and I cut the snowflakes out with my silhouette machine along with the uh, rosette, and this right here, I got it Wild Orchid Crafts, and I just wrapped the stick in a bow, put the bow on, wrapped the stick with the ribbon, and something really cute, and then I finished off the end with a flat back pearl so that's an element in there then you have the larger piece and here is another um, this is a bow I cut out cut out with my silhouette cameo and it's on a paper clip which is very cute and then we have another little um, Imperium piece this is the Christmas tree and it's on a stick that's been wrapped and a, a chiffon bow, well not chiffon, tool, tool bow. You flip it over on the back. It's just something fun and festive. Then here is another um, paper clip, really going all out with the glitter, and it shines so beautifully. I wish there was a way. See how it shines and sparkles so beautifully. Love it. Um, then those wooden pieces that you see there, they are by Kaiser Craft. And they are called the Kaiser Craft um, Lucky Dip Wooden Flourishes. Lucky Dip Wooden Flourishes. This is also a card. Now all the cards you see here were cut out with my Silhouette Cameo. Um, this is a Kaiser Craft um, metal die, and it is, uh, which is the reindeer. I made a large paper clip on here. You can get these large ones at a local office supply store or Walmart. And I cut out two deer. Um, so this one goes here, like that. Might have to glue his leg right there. Sometimes when you, you're just not quite done. There we go. He'll stay there now. Okay. I used a dolly, a deer, and another uh, one, a piece violin from the Imperium Pieces collection. And then you open it and you have all these wonderful little cards that you can use to send little memos. Um, very beautiful. And the die I used, I will show you, just slip that right back in there. The die that I used is by Kaiser Craft, and it's called Decorative Die Reindeer. And here is the item number. If you can see it. 
It is uh, DD326 by Kaiser Craft. Oop, right there. All right. Now, um, inside of here that I have hidden in here, oh, there was a rose. I have all the way to the slipped all the way to the bottom is another one. I just added some lace to the trim to the underside and over, and then a dolly and a little floral rosette, and then of course adding another little mem uh, little note memo in there. And like again, all of these cards were cut out. Um, designs from my silhouette cameo. So I'm going to slip all of this back into the envelope. The envelope itself is a 5x7, which is a standard, I think, manila envelope for the loaded um, cards and stuff. So uh, don't quote me on that, but that's from what I understood. So now I'm just going to lay that card there. I'm going to put, let's put this um, right back over here like that. We're going to put this little tag right back in there like that. Let's put this in there like that. And we can put, hmm, we're going to put, So all the way down in there like that. And you can put this. I think I had it right here. Or I didn't have it anywhere. There we go. Alright. So you can just play around and pick and choose where you want to put your stuff. So we're going to put that piece there and then we put this piece here and then we put the little bow right there. And the last piece, which you saw, I, show, I showed you how to make, um, is the little shaker card. And the snow is the buffalo snow and the sequins come from Frank Garcia's, um, it says Frank Garcia's Remnant Fragments. And you get a rose gold tone, a gold, and an antique gold. And then I just put it together like that. Cute, cute. And it slips perfectly into place. Like that. And that, my friends, is my take on the loaded um, envelope. So if y'all have any questions, let me know. The This right here is just pieces from... Uh, my personal collection but all of the paper and the remnants of uh, the remnants oh the deer here um, this deer um, is from Tim Holtz it's his little miniature deers and this right here is uh, cupcake toppers so I know you'll ask me that ask me that question and not so I don't make sure I don't forget to tell you and everything and uh but yeah stay for photos so that you can see all of the wonderful products and details of all of this and just have fun creating these um ladies are are if you're into hops or swaps ladies are swapping these this thing has been going on for i want to say by me maybe six months and i just recently learned about it and i thought oh that would be a cool gift um, for Christmas because you could take it and you can stuff gift cards in here, packets of hot chocolate, and you could really dress this up beautifully and give it to your friend or family member. And I'm sure they would love to look at all of the different things. Even replace these stems here that I use just wooden dowels by ink pens. Wrap them up so that they can have that and put like posty notes in there and little um, decorated... Uh, diary or something for them to use or put a little um mini journal so the possibilities are absolutely endless and you are not going to want to miss um trying this cool project out i really really love it i'm just adding another little detail there i'll probably go through and add a few more details but um I want to thank you all for watching and uh, I hope this um, gets you 
geared up to do some more paper crafting. So thank you all so, so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.